Hey, good evening, everyone. Hi, it's me, Nisi, coming to you with another short motivational minute. I wanted to talk to you guys tonight about the compendium of the Emerald Tablets. I implore each one of you to pick up a copy on Amazon. It was written by the author by the name of Billy Carson, and it is a phenomenal, a phenomenal read. I'm having a hard time putting it down. Um, in addition to that, <clears throat> I would state that you would need to pick up a copy of the Emerald Tablets translated by Dr. Durrell and read that along with this book. It is absolutely amazing. There is a section in here. I, I mean, there's so much for me to talk to you guys about. I just want to bring a couple of topics to the forefront that will get your mind thinking and to get you to um, realize a few things. Um, there is a section in this book and a chapter that Billy goes into step by step and it flows quite nicely. It goes into how all of the um, ancient religions were originally formed. And I myself, as well as Billy, would be considered uh, what you would call ancient astronaut theorists. And that basically means that we were our it is under our belief based on the articles that we found, the artifacts that we found, and just the information all over the planet that's been gathered, that we believe we were in fact created by uh, non-human entities seated on this planet thousands of years ago. And with that being said, it has, um, this book goes into detail and explains all of this information. It basically talks about the tablets that were created, which I did several videos on. So if you scroll through my news feed, you will be able to go through and watch a few of those videos. But it goes into detail in one certain chapter, and it talks about how, um, if you read the ancient text, the way he paraphrases and sums it up, he talks about how the, um, the Bible and other ancient texts have described in, 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 in detail or have given you clues as to state that these beings that created us were here. And so I just implore each one of you to pick up a copy. I'm going to read a section uh, of this book, and I just want to uh, just bring this to you really quickly. I know everybody's having a probably a great evening settling in and getting ready to watch some possibly football, so I won't be too long-winded. In this chapter, he states, the Bible makes more than one reference to unearthly visitors. Do not forget to show hospitality to strangers, for by so doing, some people have shown hospitality to angels without knowing. And it's Hebrews 13, 2. Now, in this book, and like I stated before, um, it is my belief and his belief and many others that um, when you state, when you, when, when the Bible talks about um, angels, they're actually referring to those who from the stars came or those from heavens came. And I would implore each one of you to just think about this for a moment. I would state that when you're referencing in these ancient texts about angels, they're actually speaking of extraterrestrials. Extraterrestrials meaning not of this earth, not of this plane not from this dimension, okay? And what it states in the book, it says that the Christian church is not only religious group that has belief systems open to existence of extraterrestrial life and otherworldly divinities. I want to stress that it is essential that you understand this virtually every religion that exists on this planet evolves deities or involves deities or a deity that claims to be not of this world. I'm going to read that one more time so you can say, let that sink in. Virtually every religion that exists on this planet involves deities or a deity that claims to be not of this world. And then he paraphrases at the bottom. Let's take a quick look at some of the oldest and largest religions and emphasize upon other worldly deities. The following numbers reflect findings by the eminent P. 
Pew Research Center. Just going to read them off to you. Number one, Christianity. 2.4 billion worship Jesus. And he said unto them, you are from beneath. I am from above. You are of this world. I am not of this world. John 8, 23. Islam. 1.8 billion believe that the prophet Muhammad was meditating in the cave of Hara by himself when an angel, Gabriel, not from this earth, descended, came down from above to him and told him to recite the words of God as the prophet Muhammad was illiterate at the time. Hinduism, it's number three. 1.15 billion Hindus believe that numerous spiritual beings and deities referred to as gods, goddesses, and divas populate the universe and actively interact with humans and influence humankind from outside of this world. Number four, Buddhism. 521 million Buddhists refer to a varied tradition of different gods and goddesses, not of this world. But though they do not worship any major deity, they are loyal to their own beliefs. Their beliefs feature praying and chanting to the Lord Buddha, who provides a role model for seeking enlightenment of the divine. The modern translator of the Emerald Tablets, Dr. Durrell, spent many months in Tibet studying under the Dalai Lama shortly after World War I. Number five, the Mormons. 17 million, the angel Morani, not from this earth. In Mormonism is an angel who visited Joseph Smith on numerous occasions beginning on September the 21st, 1823. According to Smith, the angels was the guardian of the golden plates that early Mormons believe were the source material for the Book of Mormon Smith had unburied from a hillside near Smith's western New York home. And number six, Judaism. 14 million, the Old Testament holds uh, Judaism is 14 million. The Old Testament holds many accounts of the otherworldly visitors. The otherworldly visitors who visited Lot, the brother of Abraham, encouraged him to leave the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. The prophet Elijah ascended into the heavens in a chariot of fire, spaceship with a retro fuel blast, is what he has in parentheses. That's what the description of it is. Ezekiel fills pages of his prophecy describing in detail what many consider the blueprints for a spaceship or spaceships operation. There are many, many more examples and modern day Judaism embraces a study of extraterrestrial, extraterrestrial life. I'm just going to say this and I'm going to leave it at that. Don't have authorization to read the whole thing and I'm not going to do that. I implore each one of you to pick up this book and I know how this sounds being that we are all raised and taught a certain way i'm just simply telling you that there's a lot that we're not being told and there's a lot that is connecting the dots for me and i implore each one of you to take the time to read this book as a matter of fact i think at some point i am going to order several copies of this book and possibly do a um a drawing and um do the drawing and if you guys when, then I may quite possibly send you out a copy of this book as well as the Emerald Tablets. This is the compendium as well as the actual Emerald Tablets as translated by Dr. Durrell. I am really serious about this and I really think that we all need to take a closer look at what I just said and actually reread those scriptures, reread um, Ezekiel and also Hebrews. There's many points in the Bible that gives a description of certain things. And it's time that we all start paying attention. Just because we've been created in this plane does not mean that there is not other intelligent life forms out there in the universe. And I think that we all have had uh, an understanding what, what we have on this planet and this knowledge base, but I think there are a lot of things that have not been brought to the forefront. A lot of things are being suppressed, and I think today in the 21st century, we need to take a serious look at these things, especially with what I've been reading. And I'm coming to you just for a quick short minute, so I'm going to keep this video under 10 minutes. But I just wanted to share that with you guys, and I will be coming to you and bringing you more information as the next following days um, to give you some more points to think about. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great night. I hope this message finds you well. I love you all. And remember, be the change that you want to see around this planet. Bye.